Hey everyone, today I'll show you my preferred way to set up Wise WebGL in Unity. Before we get started, make sure you have installed Git, because it might cause you some problems later if you don't have it. Also, make sure you have Wise with WebGL access. You can ask for it your sales contact at Audio Kinetic. People that are very chill and responsive, I usually get replies within one to three work days. But anyway, let's now jump into the guide. Here we have a fresh Unity project where we are going to be integrating WISE. But before integration, I will create new WISE project. Uh, I prefer keeping the WISE project folder separate from the Unity project folder for the sake of not sharing unnecessary WISE project files to other team members through GitHub or some other data transfer services. So let's create a new project. Let's call it web test and let's add web platform. I won't be using those. So let's uncheck them and click OK. Now that we have our project, let's save it and we can close it for now. Next, we will integrate WISE into our Unity project. It's the standard procedure. We'll find WISE WebGL and we will integrate WISE into it. Make sure to select web and choose the WISE project that we just created. Um, this is optional. I don't really uh, use it that much, but you can leave it. It's no big deal. All right, now that the WISE is integrated into Unity, we can open our Unity project and we will add the WISE addressables packet into the Unity. I will leave the link to the addressables in the description. All right, so here we have our project and to add addressables package, we will go into the window, packet manager, uh, a little plus icon and add package from git URL and paste the link. Okay, now that the device addressables are installed, we can configure our project settings. We will go into edit and project settings and in the device editor tab, we'll change our generating sound banks path into unity project and in the assets folder let's create a new folder called wise data and inside that folder let's create a new folder called banks here we will store our generated sound banks Okay, there may be a problem that it doesn't let you to change into the random folders. It might be because your addressables didn't install correctly. So you should reinstall them and then try again. It should fix itself. Now, in the WISE editor, there is everything we need. Let's go into WISE initialization settings. And let's change a sample spare frame from 512 into 1024. And under the common advanced settings, let's add render during focus loss. And also as an additional setting, enable loading banks asynchronously for both. For some reason, me with my team several times encountered an error where our created sound banks would load before the init sound bank had finished loading, and this caused our games to crash. Loading all sound banks asynchronously fixed this problem for us. Okay, now after configuring project settings, we can close it and save it. Now let's go into our WISE project and generate sound banks. 
Now in the sound banks layout, we can see that the event is here and let's generate sound banks for all the platforms. Okay, now that all the sound banks have been generated, we can go back to Unity. Yep, it's importing all the new data. And now if we've done everything correctly, new addressables should appear. Let's navigate to window, asset management, addressables and addressable groups. Yes, so as we see, there is a proper new addressables. Okay, now let's create a content build script for WISE. Let's navigate into project, addressables assets data, data builders, right click, create, addressables, content builders, and WISE build script, and press enter. Now that we have our new build script, let's go into window, asset manager, addressables, settings, lock it, and add this new build script into the build and play mode scripts. So addressable assets data, data builders, and wise build script packed. Cool. Finally, let's build our addressables group by selecting window, asset manager, addressables, groups, and build. New build, wise build script, and click yes. Technically, everything should be done by now. A quick reminder, don't use existing build because the Unity editor doesn't have the capability to emulate WebGL. Ensure you build specifically for WebGL to avoid any compatibility issues. So if you want to check the sounds, you need to build your project and test it. And I guess that's it. There you have it. You've successfully integrated WISE with WebGL into Unity. I hope this guide was helpful and thanks for watching.